This is the classic textbook experiment hydrogen explosion. When Ooh. hydrogen gas is ignited at its explosive concentration, it produces a sharp bang. Ooh. It me. It did? What if I scale this experiment up by a hundred times and what? ignite a huge container of hydrogen? How many times would it scare you then? That big? Aren't you exaggerating? Really? Let's see what happens when we scale it up. Safety reminder, do not attempt this experiment. To perform a large hydrogen explosion experiment, first take the opening at the top of the container and temporarily seal it. Remove it once the container is filled to let some hydrogen escape and air to mix in, reaching the explosive limit. Then it can ignite instantly. But here's the problem. How are you going to fill such a big container with hydrogen? Mm -hmm. True. The container holds 120 liters. Using lab methods, I don't have enough acid. So what's a faster way to generate this much hydrogen? Hey, we can use that! Huh? What? My dad's self-heating hot pot! Wait, just say you're hungry. What does hydrogen have to do with it? The heating pack in self-heating hot pot contains quick lime, sodium bicarbonate, aluminum powder, etc. So when you add water, it not only heats up, but also produces this reaction. This gives us the simplest way to obtain hydrogen. Oh, hydrogen energy hot pot? Now we have the hydrogen. The experiment officially begins. Let's go to the rooftop. We'll unpack some heating packs as hydrogen sources and set up the entire system, including a remote ignition system. Then we patiently wait. Soon we'll witness a supersized hydrogen explosion. Wait, don't we already know the theory? Is it necessary to do this? Sure, the theory is clear, but it's just a concept from the textbook. In real life, we tend to forget which may lead to unexpected dangers. So let's hand this over to the experimenter and let the result give us a more profound impression. 